name is Natalie Richard, and I'm currently a senior at Harris, Lois and Cowles Harrison Center for the Visual and Performing Arts, and I play violin in their orchestra program. And I'm making this video, my first and probably last discussion video, but I just, I'm making this video because I think it'll be helpful to any upcoming freshmen and hopefully encouraging to other people who are currently at Harrison because I just wanted to talk about the Harrison experience. I mean, it's such a great school and I can't imagine where I'd be right now if it weren't for that school If and think how close, how close I was to not even going to this school and all the opportunities that I would have lost is like a remarkable thing to think for me anyways. Um, like, just to think that if I had gone to my zone school, I probably, my whole life, would have just stuck to the status quo than any other statistic and, you know, be a crazy teenager, experiment with what I want to experiment with and, you know, just not be using my time to the best that it could be used to. But instead, in Harrison, I've been able to gain the discipline that I need to be able to use my time wisely and always be thinking forward to the future. Um, sometimes I forget about how grateful and blessed that I should be and how blessed I am for um, being at such a great school where I've gotten so many opportunities. I mean, I've, at Harrison, I've been able to be in the Imperial Symphony Orchestra where that experience alone has gotten me so many amazing opportunities. Just, it's just changed my life. I wouldn't have gotten to perform in the Midwest Clinic in Chicago as just a ninth grader. I mean, that was probably my first experience that truly opened my eyes and I was like, like, just wow to think I almost, I almost didn't go here. Like, I almost, I was this close to not going because I didn't want to leave my friends behind and I didn't want to have to drive 20, 20 or 30 minutes to school every day for four years. And yeah, that's still tough, but I didn't want to have to do that. I didn't want to have to go through that. But in the end, it's definitely worth it. I wouldn't have gotten to see Robert McDuffie or Mark O'Connor, Sarah Chang, Midori, um, Joshua Bell. I wouldn't have been able to see all these amazing people. Um, everyone from Buckwheat and Zydeco to just just so many people that I've gotten to see. I've gotten to perform with Barrage twice. Once in ninth grade and 11th grade. I even got to perform as a soloist in France, which was the truly most amazing experience of my whole entire life and it's changed everything um and I mean I know there's a lot of negative talk out there sometimes you'll hear from even music teachers who just see Harrison as a place that they they take all the good players and leave them with the less good players and there's just a lot of negative connotation floating up in the air about it sometimes but, you know, would you rather have nobody have that experience than just for the blessed, some people who are blessed with, um, who are so blessed to be there right now have that experience? Um, I just really wanted to say thank you to everyone who's, who's helped me, everyone from Yolanda to Mr. Lambert to Mr. Davis. Aaron Buck to Melody Hoffman. Thank you, Mc Judy McLaurin. Thank you, Chad Brady. Thank you, um, Miss Lambert, my parents, everyone who's who's ever helped me and you know helped me get through this. The, all the who's ever disciplined me and helped me to become the person I am today. Um. And any incoming freshman, I want to give you advice that somebody gave me, by the, a guy by the name of Aaron Buck um, gave me, that has truly, you know, helped to strengthen everything that I could have gotten and have gotten out of this experience at Harrison. Um, and that is to do and 
sees everything and anything that is music. Um, that means be in chamber groups, be in quartets, orchestras, anything, youth orchestras, even jazz band. If you play violin, you know, there's a way you could possibly ever get into jazz band. You can do it and take advantage of every opportunity because even if you think, oh, well, this isn't going to be a big deal. I'm just going to skip this egg. That's how you get advertisement for yourself. People will get used to seeing your face. Therefore, they'll be like, hmm, I need a quartet to play. Do you know anybody who plays violin? And there will be that one girl that went to that one thing that somebody saw you at. That's how you start gaining a name for yourself. And it'll definitely help you to start getting gigs off the easy. Um... But that, I mean, in just because it'll benefit you, you as a person in your life to do anything from dance to jazz band to hip-hop violin, anything. Anything that's music is going to benefit you, even if you don't choose that as your path in the future. Because you, you honestly, you never know where it's going to take you. Um, luckily, I stayed with violin, and I'm, I'm going currently going to... Um, go for my bachelor's in music, but, um, um, it just, just Harrison is a school for people who see the world differently, or, or people who see the world the same, it's just a mixture of all kinds of people, and if you think there's nobody else in the world like you, you go to Harrison and you realize, wow, these people you know, they have feelings like I do, they, they like to be passionate, they understand passion, it's great to just, you know, step into the hallways on the campus and hear people singing and see people dancing and see art kids carrying around their weird project stuff, you know, it's, it's not a school of weirdos, it's a school of talented kids who do what they love to do and love to express themselves in almost everything they do. It's also a school for very smart kids. I mean, you only have to have a 2.3 to get in, but my friends that I've made at Harrison are <laughs> pretty darn intelligent people. But I just wanted to thank anybody and everybody who's ever helped me get into this school and let all the incoming freshmen know that um, it won't be easy, but never give up. And... Um, um, that's all I have to say, so thanks for listening.